Now, Star Ghana, a multi-donor funding initiative, has charged the media to go beyond reporting to be agents of change uh, and in consolidating democracy. A $2.6 million grant has been given to political think tanks, civil society and the media to undertake projects uh, towards a ensuring that Ghana has a peaceful election. The grant award for the 2016 election call is the second phase of grants based on the lessons learned from experiences in phase one, which ended in April 2015. Out of over 300 applications received, 35 organizations were selected under three call components. The strategic component comprised of national level civil society or think tanks who have been given $500,000 to among other other things address the challenges pertaining to electoral credibility before, during and after the November polls. Under the open component, civil society groups have been given a grant of $1.5 million to focus on ensuring mass representation in the November polls as element of election credibility. $600,000 has been given to nine media outlets, including TV3, for unbiased and responsible reportage on the electoral processes. The media provide a space for citizens' voices to be articulated, that the media also are agents or are, yes, agents of, to hold um, those who make all these kind of promises, you know, accountable for the promises that they've made. So the uh, media component actually is to support the media to do what the media is supposed to do in a democratic society. Signing the agreement on behalf of the media, Acting Director General of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, Francisca Ashite Odunton, said the media was poised to deliver. With this money coming, although it would not cover everything, it will go a long way in helping the media to, to play its role in ensuring peaceful and credible elections before, during and after the elections. According to Star Ghana, mechanisms are in place to check duplication and ensure effective monitoring and evaluation. We don't just audit what they do. We work with them to improve their processes, to correct their errors and to give results. 